Hello and welcome to tutorial in EG1000. In this tutorial, we are going to study how to use a uh, section view to inspect the assembly of a pump design. So in here, I already have my four details of a pump, the housings and impeller and the shaft. What I need to do is I need to create an assembly and then drag my detail into this assembly. So here is my first half of the housing. Here is my second half. Okay, I just move it away from the first half so it will not confuse me later. Here is the impeller. And the last one is the shaft. Please do not follow my uh, design because you need to have your own unique design and my design is not an optimal design. So now I realize that my impeller and my lid is left side right. So I need to rotate it. So I click on the housing tool and then flip it 180 degree and so do the impeller yep so now it should be good to me now i need to assemble them all together so first of all i put my impeller inside the housing so i use the alive functions. As you can see, I already set up the hotkey for my alive command is Control 1. You also can do by yourself by changing the keyboard shortcut. I just press Control 1 and then align this face with this face. So I put it inside. Now you can see that uh, I have a lid to put on so therefore this impeller must move further into that so I select the impeller and move and move in this direction by 3 millimeters and now from the other side I can put the shaft in so I use control 1 again and then align with the internal So I put the shaft into the hole. Now the last one will be the lid. I just close it. So control one again. Try to close this one with this face and confirm it. So now you can see that I have my pump perfectly fit. Now I want to know which way will be the water directions. Is it the right way? As you can know in your um, assessment that the shaft will be rotated clockwise, so it should rotate this way. So from the opposite side, it will rotate anti-clockwise, so it should rotate this way. Now, when I try to inspect the directions of the water flow, I can create a section analysis and then I use the exit view. So you can see here will be my flow directions. Now, because it's run anti-clockwise, so therefore, if I have water over here and when the blades come, it will hit it and then move it away from the center. So therefore, it can get into the tunnel and then get out. So therefore, this is the right direction of the flow. And here is a schematic explanation. So if you have your centrifugal pump rotate uh, clockwise like this, and you have water molecule right next to the outlet, when the blades come, it will generate a force and hit it away from the center into the outlet like this. However, when you reverse the rotation of the impeller and you have the water molecules on the other side, when the blades come and hit it, it will generate force that 
hit the water molecules inside the pump and go to the center. So the outlet now becomes the inlet. So please ensure that you have the right rotations of your pump. Now we also need to want to inspect the assembly as well. So I turn off this section view and now I try to make another section view on this way. So I click on inspect and make a new section analysis. And in this situation, I'm going to use uh, the YZ. And here is my section view. Here is my lid and it connected correctly with the housing number one. Here is my shaft is connected correctly with the impeller, if you can see here. And here is place for the seal. Here is place for the first bearing. Here is place for the second bearing. You're going to glue it later. So therefore, they need some space for gluing as well. I think I'm happy with this assembly. Please try to make your own design and inspect it before you send it to print. Thank you very much for your attention and see you in the next tutorial.